Nestled within the lush nature of Monte Poro, Mount Poro, the town of Zungri is one of the most vibrant centers of the province of Vibo Valencia, perfectly placed only a few kilometers from the vocative tourist location of the Costa degli Dei, Coast of the Goats. The high plain of the Poro, which has been inhabited since the Bronze Age, shows stresses of many Grecian and Roman occupations and was also affected by anthropic occupation of the caves, which took place in Calabria towards the end of the 7th century AD. Among the rare repression villages found along the Tyrrhenian coast of Calabria, the most remarkable example is in Zungri and it is their repetition settlement in the Fossi area. Occupied between the 12th and 18th century, the site is a true anthropized environment in which every element has been planned and constructed for complete functionality within the life of the community. The settlement, which consists of 50 caves on a surface of roughly 3,000 square meters, is articulated on multiple levels on the vast rocky ridge, and it faces the deep valley dug by the Malopra Creek. Its banks were arable, and the inhabitants were able to carry out agricultural and milling activities there. The inhabited center is traversed by a flight of steps carved into the rock, which are leading to different rock carved spaces. The interior of the caves vary in size, mostly with a rectangular plant instead of an elliptical one. The artificial caves are composed of one or more rooms on one or two floors. One could access the higher levels through stairs, either wooden or dug in the rock. The inside of the caves allow for a recreation of the space distribution and the lifestyle of the inhabitants of the cliff. Along the walls of some caves, for example, one can see niches or recesses dug into the bedrock most likely sleeping birds, shelves and cupboards. Those are very important elements that help us to better understand the allocation of space and the habits inherent to living in a cave. The regularity of the vertical surfaces are interrupted by apertures for doors and windows that treat us to a spectacular place of light, where empty spaces alternate with filled ones. The entrances to the caves are made by dingy quadrangular or arched apertures. In some cases, man's creativity has brought us proper decorations sculpted in the stone with symbols to imitate proper portals with their well refined charms. In the Rupestrian settlement of Zungri, the inhabitants differentiated the spaces, separating the living spaces from the areas intended for productive and agro-pastoral activities. Thus, to one side, one can find the houses, which show signs of more recent settlements, such as the bread oven, stone walls and wooden stairs. On the other side, instead, one can distinguish all rooms for shelter animals as well as for productive activities, including the small palmetto for pressing grapes and fermenting the must, situated at the beginning of the settlement. A very interesting case in the so-called Calcara, a large grotto used as a factory to produce lime. It was obtained in a large silo previously used to hold grain. Since there are similar examples in the village, it can be deduced that before the realization of the dwelling as a structured village, the area characterized by the presence of silos must have appeared as one large granary dating back to the Byzantine age. Another relevant aspect is the complex system of the water main. 
Zungria's territory has always been rich in water springs and fresh water veins that the cliffs settles have wisely exploited by creating useful connections between tubs, wells and channels, all fashioned by excavating bedrock, either on the inside or outside of the caves. It is possible to visit the Farming and Repastron Civilization Museum in the same era. Recently, both sites have been enhanced by renovation of the vast area with the creation of footpaths, panoramic points, picnic areas and highly advanced technological equipment. Along the path that twists around the Rapestron era, there are many descriptive panels to illustrate its history. Moreover, through the use of tablet or smartphones, visitors can download augmented reality apps which show an animated history of the place, both in reality and virtually. The Rapestron settlement of Zungri represents a rare geo in Calabria as it combines age-long traditions and innovation in a succession of natural beauties, glimpses of history and unforgettable emotions.